All right, welcome to the Black Death. This is a medieval survival game that just showed up on Steam. It's in early access alpha. And I am going to go ahead and do a little gameplay walkthrough of it. Well, I was going to try to do a gameplay walkthrough on this first video, but the unfortunate thing is the volume is so loud on the in-game volume that you can't hear me talk at all through this whole video. So I'm going to try to edit and just kind of jump in here and there just to give my two cents on what's going on. And uh, hopefully we can get a salvage a good video out of this footage. So right now it looks like there's three classes. I don't know anything about this game. Um, I've already played it about an hour at this point. But uh, the three classes are Militia, Merchant, and Peasant. And Militia is like your fighter. Merchant does a lot of your crafting and whatnot. And the peasant, I haven't really quite figured out. That's the one I picked, but they have, like in their skill tree, they have hunting and some other basic things. The game's in alpha, so it's crashed a few times, and then when you come back in after the crash, your skills are gone. But, uh, you know, that's the price you pay for an alpha. So, yeah, I end up picking the peasant here. You'll see there's also a smith, a monk, and a hunter, but all three of those are locked. I'm not quite sure why. I need to jump onto the forums for this game and figure out what's going on with it but um, I ended up picking the peasant and we'll just go in from there also if you enjoyed this series go ahead and give it a like and shoot me a subscribe and I will know to keep this thing going I muscle through these bugs and show you guys a little bit more about this game thank you and I hope you enjoy all right, well, you start out as apparently an uncustomizable little boy. I don't know. There's no customization whatsoever on your character, at least at this point. Uh, but yeah, this is this is my little dude. And for the next few minutes, I pretty much wander aimlessly trying to figure out what in the world you're supposed to do. The map does not show you where you are. So having to having an understanding of the map will be key in this game. The inventory is pretty basic. Um, there's not a lot of information in there. You can basically scan between what you have or what you're carrying. And then, of course, you have your craft menu and it shows you the few things you can craft. Again, I picked uh, the peasant. And so that's what the peasant gets right at the beginning, which is not too much. So for the first few minutes here, I kind of aimlessly wander, like I said, and I couldn't really figure out what in the world I was supposed to be crafting or interacting with or whatnot. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the point where I finally figure out what the heck to do. But before I do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the emo system. I found the emo system and started playing around with it and I wanted to see what everything did. So... These are kind of goofy. The animations and some of the stuff on this game, again, it's alpha. But they're kind of funny. I think my favorite one was the taunt. <laughs> You'll see in a second here. Like, what the heck is that? <laughs> was he grabbing someone's gonads or something? Well, that is the end of that. So I dink around for a little bit and I finally figured it out. So everything that you can interact with is highlighted, but it's kind of hard to figure out what exactly that stuff is right from the get go. You have to kind of run up to it. So here's, here's where I craft a cotton bandage, which I ended up using later on. They're decent, they're not the best, but. It locks you in this weird animation when you use it, so someone could easily kill you. But uh, yeah, so that's that's basically where we used the uh, figured out what to what to grab and how to interact with things, and then you know looked at the map again, still couldn't figure out where the heck we were, or where we had to go, and then we just continued on from there. So right here on the other side of this tree, we finally find, I guess these are like open world drops or something. Um, there's like all this, well, not in this one, but there's all this rotted food in them. So we decided to nab some of that because we hadn't found any food up to this point. 
this was our first like open world random thing that we find besides a plant um, Afraid you know your infection level, and so I'm kind of wondering like if you hit 100%, if you just straight up die or how that works. But uh, I think I ended up getting it up to like 3% or something like that in this video. But you get it from walking into random locations, and um, there's some flying rocks there. Yeah, it definitely needs some work. But um, you get it from like going into certain random locations, or uh, you get it from you know eating food or. You know, there will be pits of like burned corpses and stuff. If you go in there, they were infected and you'll get some infection counter stuff. But anyway, so I did find these berries. Berries were a great source of food. And if you notice the little blue line on the lower right, that's your experience bar. The green one is your fatigue for like running around and stuff. And of course, red is your health. Um, but picking berries got me quite a few quite a bit of XP later on I figured it out and I was like oh you know I can pick these and level up pretty pretty quick so um, yeah that blue bar is what you want to watch when you're trying to level up and then yeah anything you do gathering berries or crafting items and things like that it it uh, generates additional XP for you it's a lot like Ark in that you know Ark survival evolved in that uh, manner just not as polished so here is another little encounter we have. Um, this is like a burned, abandoned village. Um, I don't know if they're at, planning on adding more loot drops or whatnot to the game, but there's definitely not a lot of loot around, a lot of things that you can find. I'm sure they are planning on adding more, but it was kind of a cool little village that had been you know, ransacked by who knows what, who knows why. Kind of gets you thinking, but it was definitely... Uh, lacking in the loot department i did find sticks here which were nice i was able to use those to make my first weapon and later on you can use sticks to craft a pretty rudimentary bow and arrow but that was the intro to weaponry it took it did take a while to figure out how to actually use the weaponry but this was when i first got it so here's where i finally got into the skills menu um you have a little skills tree here and each one does different things like adds more health or more resistance to the the infection um, some allow you to craft you know basic entry level tools uh, the one to the far left is bow and arrow um, I think that's pretty much it or at least that's all I was able to unlock and find out later on I get to the second level of bow and arrow which is like huntsman um, opens the huntsman skill tree or something like that the only problem was, is like I said, every time you disconnected or logged off, whenever I'd come back, I would have no skills. It was like, you have all your loot and all your gear that you found, but all your skills are gone. So advancing too far up the tree was not exactly possible. So here I find this little farm and it's kind of cool. They have pumpkins and a little bit later on, I walk over and grab some carrots. And this stuff is good. You can just straight eat it right out of your inventory. So that's nice because it gives you that, you know, reduces your food percentage. And then I am I would guess that you can use it later on to craft. And then, of course, you get levels up whenever you gather the stuff. Pretty decent XP at low levels. So just running around picking it up and then dropping it again is, is something that I did to grab a couple quick levels. Because I was going for that bow. And then over here, just like the pumpkins we had little carrots and parsnips and I found an onion at one point but I don't know where I found it from I guess it had to have been in here somewhere but uh, yeah more more veggies for the either straight consumption or you can craft with them so I've been running around a little bit and I see on that far hill over there which I can turn around here there's a castle and I want to figure out what the heck is going on with that castle so this will be the first, you know, players or NPCs or anything that I've seen. So I decided to cruise over there. Um, and the, the view, the terrain and everything looks fantastic from a distance. I mean, it looks really good. 
So they're doing a great job. Very medieval-esque. But I am on my way to the castle. Here we take a little swim across the river. I thought it was pretty amusing. Looks kind of goofy swimming. So on the way to the castle, I find this little... I don't know if it's a bandit cap or what, but I just run up and start attacking these dudes, but they don't do anything. So the NPCs, not so good at fighting back, and they don't really have much in their inventory. So again, alpha, early access. Hopefully this gets fixed pretty soon, because, I mean, if you're a fighter, <laughs> yeah, makes it kind of kind of boring. So at this point, I'm right outside of the castle, and I finally crafted a bow, and I see this cracked out deer. I mean, that's the only thing I can think about it. Just, it stays still for only a few seconds and runs around like crazy. A couple times it even disappears and reappears somewhere else. So here I test out the bow. First of all, there's no arrow in the bow, which is really confusing. Um, shooting the bow is, it's strange. You have to right click to bring it up in this position, and then you left click to actually shoot the arrow. But it's really, really weird to, I mean, I think you'll be able to see a couple times I've shot, but you don't, you can't really tell that you're shooting necessarily. And there definitely, there is, you know, arrow drop and everything like that. Like there, see it hit right in front of the deer. So after chasing the deer around for a few minutes i finally get a couple shots on it the sound that it makes is hilarious but it took three shots two or three shots and then i finally took it down i think it goes down i hit it there and i didn't even realize that i hit it because it did its little teleport thing and then this is the last shot where i actually killed it or maybe this is yeah this is the last shot, shot four times now here's another funny thing is the food the loot is actually to the left. It's not in the deer. So <laughs> it's kind of goofy, but you have meat and bone and hide. So I'm sure that's, you know, used for crafting or food or something. Obviously food, but crafting later on down the road. But that was my experience with hunting and the bow. Finally, after that, I just ran into the town. Um, I was trying to find some NPCs and stuff to talk to. You could talk to the guards, but... I couldn't find anybody else to talk to. I'm sure there is somebody. Those are a couple players right there. This guy, he was going to try and axe me with that big old axe he had. He came after me a couple times and he wanted a piece, but I was not going to have any of it. I actually went back later and tried to hunt him down and kill him, but then the server crashed, so that sucked. I was going to try to get him with a sword I steal when I'm in the city. But, um, yeah, there was... Overall... It's a good game. It's a good baseline. You know, it's an alpha. It's got a lot of work ahead of it. It's if you want something you can get in and actually play and really progress and do well. I don't know if this is for you quite yet, but I think in the future this is going to turn into a pretty decent game. Um, as long as, you know, of course the developers continue going on it. But it's got a lot of different, you know, material stone and meats and vegetables and all kinds of different stuff so i'm sure you can do quite a bit and from what i've read um since you know playing this first little video um or playing this this first little gameplay walk through it there's a lot of stuff that they plan on implementing of course that's pretty normal with um, early access alphas but uh overall it's pretty fun i mean um i i ended up killing somebody later unfortunately i didn't film it uh, there's no like criminal system that I'm aware of, so that was, you know, was what it was. The guy's like, "What the heck did you do that for?" And really, I was just like, "Yeah, I was trying to figure out what was, what happens when you do." So I don't know how that's gonna work if they're gonna implement a criminal system or, you know, if because if you're outside of a town, I didn't stand next to a guard and do it, but if you're, you know, outside of a town, you can just walk up to anybody and just kill them, and nothing happens. So stealing people's loot or you know playing as a brigand or something like that is is definitely doable um i would guess that they're they'll probably put some sort of like criminal system in later on like this i just walk up and take this like nothing happens 
steal stealing the drink and I just walk away. And later on when I get a sword, it's the same thing. I walk into the blacksmith shop and just grab it. So yeah, it's it's early access, it's alpha, it's a fun game um, that has potential in the future, I think. And I'll probably continue this, you know, if you guys like it, you know, you want to see me keep continue uh, filming this little gameplay series and keep updating the game, just give me a like, give me a subscribe, and tell, let me know in the comments you want to keep seeing this. All right, thanks a lot, guys. See you next time.